Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Beautiful viewer, thank you for taking the time out to click on Kiara's Love Tarot. I'm back with a little quick little message. I'm gonna try to make this message quick, okay? But once again, thank you for clicking on my video. If this video attracted you with the title, if it popped up on your up next, most recommended, or just started playing, that's because it's a message in this video for you. But please keep in mind my readings are general, so only take what resonates in your life do not try to force something to fit in your life that is not yours just because it's in this reading okay the energies are free only take what resonates all right leave the rest also thank you to everybody who's been with my channel since day one welcome back and i truly appreciate you also if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button hit that bell and make sure you comment and give me a like okay love and light to you guys so let's go ahead and tap in with a little quick late night message Okay, and even if you see in this video when it's not nighttime, you seeing it when you need to hear it. Okay, so take it how it um is presented to you. Okay, this video is timeless. All right, I'm just posting it at nighttime. So spirit, give me some messages. Okay, what messages do we have? <clears throat> what messages do we have? Let's go jump right in. So we got take your life back DMDF. Okay, so we got a divine masculine and a divine feminine that's needing to take their life back. Okay, somebody's needing to get back to the basics, get back to them. Okay, get back to loving them, get back to paying more attention to themselves and paying more attention to what best serves them. Somebody's always looking out for everybody else except for themselves. You need to start paying attention to you, okay? You came in this world with yourself unless you are a twin or a triplet or a quadruplet, whatever. Other than that, you came in this world by yourself, okay? So no need to get dependent on others for your happiness. You have to make yourself happy. Okay, so that's a message for somebody. Spirit, give me a message. We got multiple times. Okay, somebody has um, had their, I'm not saying like physically had their life snatched, but somebody has given their all to people multiple times only to be played and fucked over. Also, somebody could be getting called multiple times or could have been getting blown up multiple times today by an ex. Or just a boyfriend or girlfriend. If you're in a relationship watching this, somebody could be um, getting their phone blown up. Okay, somebody's tired of calling somebody multiple times. We got unchanged energy, unchanged mind. Yeah, this is somebody that um, is in your life that keeps doing the same things. That keeps on um, trying to force the same patterns or trying to force you to accept the same patterns that you don't want to accept. Okay, we got... This ain't the job for you, love, okay? So somebody's working a job that is not doing it for them, okay? You're doing it for the money, but it's not doing it for your happiness. I feel like somebody is dragging ass every morning when they wake up. They got to say a prayer to get them the strength to go into this job and work this job, okay? You're doing it for your kids. You're doing it to pay off some debts. You're doing it for your life. Okay, somebody hates a job or somebody let somebody talk them into taking a job or somebody quit a job that they were comfortable with thinking that this new job would be better and you just feeling like this ain't the job for you okay somebody is needing to definitely um explore their options okay i ain't saying quit a job but just you know apply for other jobs and start freeing yourself from toxic environments all right apply for other jobs and find something you truly love to do we got cancer okay i could be talking to a cancer there could be a cancer who just is not filling a job okay but we got everything has to be perfect so there's a cancer out here who feels like everything in their life has to be perfect okay and shit keeps falling apart in your life because well it's falling in your part uh, falling apart in your life because um multiple times the spirit guides have showed you that you know nothing is really perfect okay and somebody and somebody's trying to show you cancer that everything is not going to be in tip-top shape okay so that's a message for somebody everything is not in tip-top shape there's somebody who has a nail shop appointment today or tomorrow okay somebody's seeing 13 13 a lot somebody is feeling really insecure watching this video or has an insecure trait about themselves that they're trying to work on any more messages here Ooh. I could be talking to a Samantha, a Tay, a Nisa, a Vanessa, a Sabrina, 
a Sakina, a Mira, or a Titi. Okay, we got overflow of love. Somebody um is experiencing an overflow of love right now from family members, from friends. Okay, somebody has narrowed down their circle. Um, very small, and you're happy with who you have in your life. We got suck a bitch jazz bill, bitch. So yeah, somebody had a suck a bitch jails bill energy that was a friend to them, okay? Or this could have been a family member as well. But somebody had somebody direct in their life, or somebody was just doing too much for somebody that was carrying this vampire energy um, within them, taking. Uh, more than they're they're taking things from you viewer but they're not giving you anything okay you was given more than you were receiving in this friendship but now somebody's surrounding yourself in a friend group or a workplace or a setting where they're being given an overflow of love okay so somebody is experiencing an overflow of love right now you could just be feeling this way because you've taken your life back Okay, because you got tired of somebody giving you unchanged energy and working off an unchanged mind basis. Okay, yeah, bird brain. Somebody wanted you to operate off this bird brain energy. They wanted you to be blind to the bullshit. They just wanted you to just ignore things that didn't serve you, but you just couldn't do it. Okay, we got, if you with it, baby, play your part then and don't be listening to what them bitches be starting. Okay, so somebody wanted you to play your part okay somebody wanted to do them had a cake eat it too and they just didn't want you to say shit somebody was out in the open with they shit or somebody was just out in the open with a disrespect in a relationship with you okay or in an environment a business environment somebody could have been dealing with somebody on the workplace and or this could be some type of man that had a lot of women he was dealing with in a workplace Okay, and or this could be a female that was sleeping with a lot of different men in her workplace, take it how it resonates. But I feel like um, a lot of talk was going on on a job about somebody dealing with somebody and somebody wanted somebody to play their part in the situation. This is why I'm picking up um, this ain't the job for you, love. Okay, somebody uh, is dealing with a lover boy in a workplace. Also, somebody just has a person that has a lot of people gossiping about them because they're well known they're an influencer of some sort or they just you know are loved by many they do a lot for their community they could be you know a coach or you know just something that they, they don't have to be a coach just a big figure okay and they don't even have to be a really big figure they could just be very helpful either way it goes whatever this person seems to do or whenever it's done, they either expose themselves by posting all their business on the internet for the world to see. This is what gets people talking, you know, posting themselves with different women on different dates, on different vacations, doing them with different people. And these rumors are getting back to you. And, you know, when you say something, this person is telling you to play your part because they're single. So this is somebody who's gotten themselves in a situation with a single person. You guys both could be single. And this person knows that you're in love with them. They know that you want to be with them. They know that you, you know, they led you deep into a connection only to now see that you're, you know, in deep with them and they don't want to do right by you. Or this could just be a past situation. This could be something you're overcoming. Okay. We got, I, even though I really love you, I'm going to smile because I deserve to. So yeah, somebody's, you know, realizing that it's time to let that hurt go. Okay, you've been holding on too long to it, and it's just past due. It's just played out. It's like, why keep crying over the same thing? Why keep driving yourself insane to try to make somebody change for you that don't want to change for you? You're going to drive yourself crazy every time. It's just like trying to put your shoe, I mean, your foot in a shoe that you cannot fit, okay? You know damn well this shoe is too fucking small for you. You keep trying to squeeze your foot in it. To, to appear that you can you got the latest shoes or appear that you got nice shoes or even just because you this was your favorite shoe okay somebody's wearing two little shoes to because to, yeah somebody's trying to flex with some shoes somebody really don't got money like that and their shoes is too small for them and they flex okay this could be somebody's person they dating or this could have been something somebody did in high school okay somebody grew up in a poverty environment and they had a pair of shoes they didn't want to let go of okay but either way go 
trying to force somebody to change that don't want to change for you is going to drive you insane so stop doing it okay we got somebody sleeping in my bed somebody could love that song by drew hill um somebody could literally share a home with somebody and it just seems like when you come home from work somebody's been in your house okay not like on the creepy shit but like you if you live with somebody that you're suspecting is cheating it could just feel like something ain't been right all day and you could just have a feeling somebody's got somebody in your house or sleeping with somebody in your house while you're working hard, okay? While you at home, at home, I mean, at work, working hard, this person has got motherfuckers in a place where you paying your bills, okay? This could be um, what's happening. And also, like I said, keep in mind, these readings are general, okay? We got, you need a Yanni steam. So somebody's needing to give their self some um, tender love and care between the legs, okay? Somebody need, we got ladies, as a collective, okay, this one is specifically for the ladies, whether you divine or you can't make it don't matter. It ain't just about looking cute on the outside. You could look cute. You could have the best smells on the outside, okay? You could have the prettiest nails, the late, most laid wig, the most softest skin, okay? You could look so beautiful on the outside, but what that inside smelling like, okay? What that inside like okay you guys gotta make sure y'all keep y'all vagina up to maintenance too other than just y'all outside looks your nails the basics okay make sure the vagina is well kept as well because especially if you guys are dating somebody that you know has other sexual partners okay because keep in mind we got suck a bitch jazz bill energy all around you just never know who carrying the energy okay until they show you Give me more messages, spirit. We got Memphis. So somebody's from Memphis that I'm talking about. Somebody could be born in Memphis or planning a trip to Memphis. Or you just, your person's from Memphis. You're from Memphis. But Memphis has something to do with this. We got shopping addiction. Somebody's doing too much shopping to make their self smile. So somebody's addicted to shopping. <laughs> we got movies. Somebody's watching a lot of movies to keep their mind off shit. And that's good. Exercise your mind into other subjects so you ain't consistently thinking about the same thing. All right, we got a black dog. So somebody has a black dog. All right, somebody's black dog also is wanting more affection from you guys. Okay, so if you have a black dog and this dog is pushing up on you, you definitely need to give it some love. That's your spirit guide in the animal form. And they want to, you know, let you know they're here to support you, okay, and energize you. Somebody has a white truck or is driving a white truck or is thinking about purchasing a white truck. Give me some more messages, spirit. Some more messages. We got 10 minutes, okay? Somebody just got off the phone with their person 10 minutes ago or somebody's person called them 10 minutes ago or is about to call them 10 minutes from watching this video, okay? So if that resonates with somebody, make sure you comment and let me know. We could be, this person could be a Scorpio. Somebody could be dating a freaky ass Scorpio. We got five abortions. So somebody didn't have five abortions in their lifetime, okay? Somebody's feeling anxiety heavy about the fact that they've had five abortions. Somebody wants kids now, okay? But in the past, they've had five abortions and could be having a hard time conceiving, okay? Somebody's manifesting a baby after having babies that they didn't keep. No, I'm not shaving anybody that had an abortion. This is just what's coming through me, okay? But yeah, somebody's had five abortions and they just really regret it. Just talk to God and, and he will forgive, okay? Don't forget, we got hold on. We got a Carmen, a Khalees, we got a Shonda, a Shana, a Alexis, a Lexi, and a Mira, a Nay. Okay, so I could be talking to somebody like with that name. Let's see. Give me some more messages. wish to God you were here. And then I got another name. We got Kelly, Angel, Juanita, Stacy, Tracy, Rhonda, Donald, Chelsea, Tawana, okay? And we got backstabbing. And we got DM made the wrong choice, big regrets. And then we got stop letting him her have you fucked up. 
bully ass person okay so somebody bullied you into um and we got low iq so somebody could be bullying somebody who in the past operated off of a low iq energy like somebody who's just really dumb to the bullshit okay they let anything go if you guys been uh watching my videos you pretty much would know what a lot a low iq female is or a low iq male is somebody who just don't have it all who is in a very third uh i was gonna say third vibrational a 3d energy a low vibrational energy okay but also Somebody kept backstabbing you and somebody had to stop letting somebody have them fucked up, okay? Somebody got tired of letting somebody have them fucked up. Also, we got DM, made the wrong choice, big regrets, okay? So, like I said, if you're a male watching this, flip it to how it resonates with you. But we all know that there are energies out there who are in high regrets right now for releasing the wrong, I mean, releasing somebody that they were supposed to be with or releasing somebody that was put in their life to help them elevate, they get this now, okay? They see this, you know, people is consistently reminding them. I feel like people, you know, tricked your person. Even though if you really love somebody, nobody should be able to trick you or make you make a decision like that on somebody you love. But this person, because they were operating off of a low IQ energy, allowed somebody or people to, you know, and it ain't just the people's fault because at the end of the day, this person is an adult. They know right from wrong. So they can't really, I can't really blame, you know, people influencing them, but that played a part in their decision that they made. Somebody made the wrong choice, and they don't even have to be just with another person. Somebody didn't want to have kids with somebody, okay, and you did, or flipping, you may not have wanted kids, and they did, so because you didn't want to bear their children, or because they didn't want to have children with you, that caused problems, okay? Somebody was arguing about where they wanted to live. Someone didn't want to leave their home and move in with somebody. That caused the relationship to break up, okay? There's also other reasons why people can make the wrong choice but also i'm heavily picking up on that there's a lot of people out here in this world that seem to be torn between multiple options it don't have to be just two different people it could be all types of different people okay but this person and also like i said i get deep into you know how people are feeling off the energies i'm picking up on so yeah look we got the lovers cards coming out yeah somebody loves you somebody's in love somebody ain't talked to their person in 15 days okay somebody's been in pain for 15 days over this connection or somebody's just had this heavy energy over them for 15 days somebody has a 15 year old with a person or somebody met this person when they were 15 and may not have connected with this person look we got journey yeah Somebody seeing the person that they love go on a merry way. We got message of concern. So somebody wants to send you a message. Okay, you could have moved away. We got distant horizon. Somebody could be 36 that I'm talking to. We also got 10 and 15. So somebody's birthday is on the 10th day. All right. What else is going on with this situation? Spirit, my cards. What's going on? Yeah, somebody's in love, but they weren't in love enough to do the right thing by you. Also, I feel like somebody had a really bad argument the last time they talked before they got on the train. Somebody could have took a train out of state to move away. Somebody took a leap of faith because somebody kept showing them or blowing them off or showing them that somebody was keeping somebody in a, uh, a shelf energy. Somebody wanted to put you on the shelf and save you for later. They wanted to live their life hoping you would be the type to wait but you had a pathway, somebody's 35, you had another path to go on, okay? Somebody has another direction or somebody had a different purpose. Somebody wasn't side piece material or somebody wasn't, um, you know, just the material like type of person. Like you, it, it don't even have to be side piece material. You don't have to even be that. But talking on relationship side, I feel like there's either two, one way, it's either you on the side or you the main person in the situation even if there ain't people other you know other entities interfering in a relationship somebody could choose to put you to the side and put their business over a relationship or put you know their friends or the type of life they want to live that you may not want to live and because you don't want to live that life you know you're being put on the side i'm gonna deal with you when it's convenient 
and we got mature somebody was too mature we had a mature woman and a mature man oh no we got main male okay so somebody was too mature for a person or a connection or somebody outgrew a connection somebody's the somebody dated somebody for six years so the time went by but nothing really changed okay we got occupation yeah somebody was working too much in a relationship or somebody was jealous of your work at work ethic you may have made more money than them and this made them look crazy these days the new style is people don't want somebody that's doing better than them okay usually or you know these days a lot of men don't want re women if they're strong or stronger than them or if they can bring more to the table so yes yeah, somebody or also somebody used a job to that would be the time that they took the time to cheat on somebody Somebody had hella options and the person you that you're watching this video. Also, somebody um, could have been, they could have had several options. Um, and your person, this person you're watching this video regarding to, you could have been, they could have been your only option, okay? you They could have been your main, like the main guy that you deal with. Meanwhile, they have other people with this main male out here, okay? This person was your only option, but this person could have had other options as well. So, what else is going on, Spirit? Pulling from my energy oracle deck. Give me more messages for what else is going on. What other messages we got all tied up in contract, okay? So, somebody's locked down into something that they don't want to be locked down in. Or somebody's trying to get out of a contract. Somebody's trying to break a lease that they share with somebody or somebody wants to break a lease with somebody that they share a home with or somebody moved in with somebody or this person could live with you and you're looking for a new place we got the temple path in reverse this card usually represents like happiness um or somebody following their pathway like something sacred but i feel like somebody thought this relationship or somebody thought the person that they're watching this video um wondering about was they twin flame, they soulmate, but we got the daughter romance. This person was a romancer, okay? This person also knows how to romance people out their pants easily, romance people out their money. They are very charming, okay? This is somebody who was charming you and charming multiple people, charming their friends. This is just a very charming energy, okay? And somebody was all tied up in this energy. Somebody wish they would have had options and wouldn't have just made somebody their only option. Somebody really wish they they wish they would have cheated. <clears throat> like Tisha Cole said, they really wish they would have cheated in a situation. So let's get more deeper into the reading. Let's see what are the things that this relationship stopped my viewer from focusing on within yourself. Okay. Ooh, I'm so sorry y'all I sneezed sorry but what did this person block from my viewer okay somebody wasn't drinking enough water when they were dealing with this person somebody used to have a tea drinking routine that they would follow or somebody was really healthy or somebody had a healthy form a healthy way of living and when they got in a relationship with this person or as the connection deepened and you guys got distracted with being in love this person um stopped your whole cycle of how you did things wow all these cards put out we got deep breathing so somebody that came out in reverse somebody used to do uh, breathing ex exercises or somebody's needing to do breathing exercises at this current moment when they think about this person because thinking about this person and what they put you through could put you possibly into a heavy anxiety energy okay so spirit is telling me to tell people when you start thinking about this person or when you start thinking about just things that make you feel nervous period start breathing okay also we got beauty ritual and we got intuition so yeah when you guys got with this person they watch your intuition heavy they stopped um and that's that that should show you right there that this is not somebody you need to be in a relationship with this person uh turned your vibrations down especially for those of you that are into your spirituality okay not everybody is spiritual that watches tarot but those of you who like actually take your spirituality serious you could have stopped doing your normal 
you know, routines. Um, somebody let themselves go. Somebody started beating themselves up. Oh, I'm fat. Or, oh, I'm skinny. Or, oh, my hair's falling out. Oh, I don't look this way. I don't look that way. Or, oh, he's not noticing me. This person made you question yourself and you should never let somebody make you question yourself. Okay, if you don't have your own back, how do you expect somebody else to have your back? How? Okay. Somebody literally closed your third eye in a relationship or somebody was trying to get you to close your third eye in a relationship because you were too smart and they're used to being the smart person. They're used to making the rules and connections or friendships. Okay, because some of you guys fell in love with your friend. This ain't even somebody you were dating. This is something that was a friendship at first and it turned into something deeper. Yeah, we got despair and low sorrow. Okay. And we got determination. So we got the Prince of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Ten of Swords, okay? So somebody was determined to break somebody's heart. So somebody could have made a bet on you <laughs> when they first seen you. Like, I bet I can get this person. I bet I can make this person fall in love with me. This person is you, viewer. I bet I could have them in their feelings about me. Or you, when you met this person, you may have, like, on some flirting shit, told them, oh, nobody can make me fall in love or... I've never been hurt or I wish I would fall for a nigga or, or a female, like whatever. Take it how it resonates. But somebody just, you know, made it their goal to break your heart or they make it a goal to break hearts because somebody could have broke their heart. Somebody literally um, was trying to, not like literally, and I'm not saying literally took a knife and stabbed you in the heart, but like, okay, somebody was intentionally, strongly trying to break your heart because they were so jealous of you, okay? They almost hated you. And that's weird as hell. Like, how you love me, but you hate me. Really, that's not possible. It's more of an envy thing. It's more of a, um, you're everything that somebody in their life wasn't, okay? So somebody could be, you could remind somebody of an ex. Somebody may have told you you remind them of their ex. Somebody also may have only dated you because you remind them of an ex. And it don't even have to be looks. It could just be off your actions. And they kind of took out what they went through with this ex on you. That's for somebody. I'm also hearing somebody wanted a relationship to work out with somebody. But this person kind of did you bogus because this is your karma from something. Now, take that how it resonates, okay? Don't get on here talking about some. You, I don't want to get done bogus, okay? I'm just keeping it real. I'm just relaying a message. Somebody is having a failed relationship with this person because the way you got them was all fucked up. Okay, somebody did some boat, somebody dirty. Somebody could have da been dating somebody that was once a friend's man or something, or a man could be dating a woman that was once a homie's woman. I'm also picking up a friend was dating some somebody's masculine baby mama. So your masculine could have had a baby mama and his friend could be sleeping with her. That's a message for somebody. Take it how it resonates. We got intuition. Yeah. Somebody's intuition is blocked in this situation, but also somebody's intuition is telling them something ain't right between a baby mama and a friend or a baby daddy and a friend. Take it how it resonates. Okay. Also, somebody's intuition also was letting them know that this person was determined to break them, yet you kept dealing with them. You kept giving them the time of day. When they didn't deserve it. We got disappointment. Yep, somebody kept disappointing you because you wouldn't listen to your intuition about them. Somebody kept kicking your cups over every time you tried to fill them up and give them something to drink. They didn't want nothing to drink from you. But you kept trying to give them to them. Look, you got generosity. <laughs> right after I said that. Generosity. Y'all see it. Okay, this is the six of discs. Okay, somebody is disappointed because they were generous as fuck in a relationship and all they got was sorrow, okay? Somebody put them in despair energy and all you ever tried to do was be generous. A lot of you guys was giving your person money and for those of you that wasn't, if you know you weren't giving your person money, then that's not for you. But a lot of you guys thought you could buy this lover's attention with money, okay? Somebody also was waiting on you to get to that point. Some of y'all was not giving y'all fucking money up for shit. Fuck you mean? <laughs> uh, you said what? give you how much okay some of you guys feel like you're the one that's supposed to be getting taken care of not you taking care of the other party some of you don't have a problem with 50 50 but this person just wanted to be taken care of like a baby and you wasn't down so you didn't make the cut 
but you still try to change this person, okay? We got manifestation. Yeah, some of you guys spent a lot of long nights trying to manifest something that was a burden in your life that you knew would be a burden even if it worked out or even if this person kept trying to act right. You just knew they would never really fully be right for you. Deep down, this is what your intuition was telling you about this person, but you kept blocking that, okay? Because you had a vision about how this thing needed to play out. We got the three of swords, I mean, three of wands, okay? Somebody wanted this lover's energy upright, okay? But it kept coming out in reverse for you guys. Not literally, but in y'all situation. Somebody could be in an interracial couple dating situation, okay? We got the death card. Yeah, this relationship is over, okay? Because it's time for somebody to stand in their high priestess energy and stop being deceived. Stop uh, allowing deception in their life. Stop allowing magician energy in their life. Allowing people to come sell you a dream without even uh, putting the action in your face. It's like some of you guys will let this person tell you anything and they wouldn't even have to put action to it. So they got comfortable with that shit and they kept doing all type of shit because they like, oh, well, I just told her the sky was green and she could see damn well it's blue or he could see damn well it's blue and they still believe me. So <laughs> I got away with it, okay? Somebody likes the show, I almost got away with it. ID Discovery. Somebody likes watching Lifetime movies. I'm talking about them old school Lifetime movies, like back in the 2000s. That's when we used to hit. So what else is going on in this situation, Spirit? What else is going on in this situation? Bills is kicking somebody's ass right now, and somebody's in need of a lot of family support, or somebody could be having... Um, heated arguments with their family because they need their support because they're struggling. Somebody won't give somebody family support while they're struggling. Somebody forgot about their family when they were doing good and now that they're doing bad, they need their family and their family don't want, some, want nothing to do with them. Let's see. What else is going on? Is there any other messages? Why doesn't this family want to support this um, energy I'm picking up on, okay? This could be you or your person, but why doesn't this family want to show support to this energy? We got not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call a person, boundary, still angry. Yeah, somebody could be just looking at the fact, like I just said, you know, when you was up, you didn't have shit for me or I wasn't important. You didn't come around. You didn't call me. Somebody wasn't calling their family enough. This could be you when you got in a relationship with this person, okay? This could also be a karmic energy, your person's person. If you in a third party situation with somebody could be, um, somebody could have did their family really bogus for a relationship. And now that this relationship is over, um, and you don't have anything, you don't got nowhere to stay. I ain't saying this is you, you, or this could be your person going through this, or they person, or this could be you going through this, but somebody don't got nowhere to stay, or somebody just struggling really bad, and they need help from their family, and their family don't want to help them, because where were you when you got in this relationship, or when you got this new job, or when things was going good for you? Don't try to run to me now. Oh, that's some tea. Okay, and yeah, back to this card. Somebody's person is really regretting that they made the wrong choice in life. They should have just went in your direction with you. They heartbroken. Somebody's on the side of their bed crying. Somebody's room is dark. Somebody needs to cheer the fuck up. We got wedding over drinking. Somebody don't even, somebody has a wedding coming up and they don't want to get married because they feel like this is going to block them from following their dreams. Okay. This says follow your dreams. Yes. Somebody feels like a connection is holding them back from their dreams. Somebody knows that a relationship is over with. It's been done. Okay. You got the death card with that shit. You know, somebody knows that they don't even know what the point they holding on for this shit for anymore. Like, why? Why would I lock myself in a commitment? Or why did I lock myself in a commitment? Somebody used to be heavy set and they lost a lot of weight. Okay, because they stuck in a miserable energy. Somebody's miserable because they recently discovered some sexual text messages, flirting or cheating through text, and they're supposed to be getting married soon. Okay, or somebody's married acting like they're not. Somebody could have discovered something with a fake friend, okay, involving some text messages, and now somebody's praying for forgiveness in a situation or hoping they get forgiven by you. 
They did too much. They did too much in the connection. Moving out. Yeah. Like I said, somebody finna have to move out their shit because they can't afford where they stay or where they lay. Or they just don't got the options anymore. They don't got all these different houses they can go lay up in. Or somebody just tired of being miserable in the situation anyway. Somebody needs a new breath air, breath of fresh air. Somebody's moving out of state or has moved out of state. Okay, because they were ready for movement and better choices, better decisions. Somebody has a two-year-old, okay? Somebody is celebrating a breakup while somebody is in conflict and defeat energy, okay? So this could be you celebrating to you being single, you know, moving out of the old place with your person or moving out of the old place that you had a lot of memories with this person with and you celebrating with your loved ones, okay? Not no fake-ass friends that you dropped, Okay, a lot of you drop fake friends. A lot of God has been doing a lot of cleansing. You know, in your life, we got firm foundations. So, yeah, if somebody's cheers into a firm foundation, a new home. Like, somebody's life is so convenient for them right now. Like, everything is working next to each other. Everything is just working out for you. Like, meanwhile, it's a tornado storm <laughs> in somebody else's life that you're connected to. Okay, and what I mean by tornado storm is just... Things just consistently not working out. Somebody's been broken up for four months or five months. Somebody's 54, has a parent that's 54. We got financial and material changes, okay? And yeah, somebody's feeling defeated because their money ain't the way that it used to be. Money is funny. And then this man has a ring on. So yeah, this could be a married man whose base chakra is really blocked or somebody's needing to do some base chakra work. That's the first things first. But yeah, somebody could have gotten married for material reasons and hurt you. Or somebody won't leave a marriage because they are too materialistic. Okay? Or you could be in a marriage with somebody. Well, I just, when I see rings, I feel like that's marriage. Okay? But somebody is married to somebody who realizes that, no, you realize that this person, you know, looks at you as financial benefit okay somebody don't want a commitment anymore and this don't have to be a marriage it could be a relationship that's been going on for 10 years five years 14 years yeah somebody's been really patient in a commitment really patient hoping for something to grow you see this woman waiting on this you know flower to grow and get strong you've been waiting on this relationship to grow and it just Y'all haven't had no foundation or achievements come in. Like, where, where is it going? I'm looking up. It had been 15 years. It had been five years. It had been three years. It had been four years. Like, what do I have to show for all this that I've been through with you? Nothing but some broken heart that I'm stuck fixing. And the weight that I'm stuck carrying that you put on me. And for some of you guys, you got a kid with this person to show for a forever partnership or alliance because believe it or not, you know, when you have a baby with somebody, yeah, you don't have to fuck with them, but y'all still just got a child together. So this is not somebody you can just X out of your life unless they choose to do that a lot. You know, you get some people, some men, okay? And for some, you get some women who abandon their kids, but majority of the time it's men abandon their children, okay? And you get some people who just don't want nothing to do with their kid and then you just, they be gone and that's out of your control. But there's some people who don't have that situation, okay? And you can't just escape a ch person that you have a child with. So somebody, only thing they have to show for is a secure, you know, spot in somebody's life is their baby mother or baby father, okay? But other than that, somebody's just like, time is going by, months went by, days went by, <laughs> and I don't got nothing to show for. What am I staying for? Okay, so give me some messages from this deck. Yeah, look, baby dad at the top, yeah. That's the only thing somebody got to show for is the fact that they have a child with this person. We got on weak for you, yeah. Somebody's weak for their baby daddy. A water sign could be weak for their baby daddy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or somebody needs to drink some water. Somebody's too selfish. Or somebody was too selfish in a relationship. And viewer, I'm hearing you could have been very selfish too. That could have played a part. Somebody was selfish and kept a side nigga. 
okay so this is for a feminine who was doing the bullshit okay stripper somebody could have been stripping and their partner could have trusted them to strip and promised that they wouldn't be doing that type you know cheating on them and stuff this person was supporting somebody while they were stripping and all along this stripper energy had a side person on the side that was very selfish of them okay we got worried to death about court this wasn't even supposed to be in the um that somebody's person is worried to death about court somebody um could be having anxiety like a motherfucker about this okay or somebody could be picking up on a person's anxiety and just feeling worried out of nowhere okay this ain't even you ain't got nothing you ain't got no worries right now but you just picking up on your person's uh energy okay so know that it ain't you that's got this worry energy is somebody else and it could be because somebody has a court case or um i'm not no not a court case somebody has a court date coming up sorry yeah we got a narcissist somebody is a narcissist but somebody um keeps attracting narcissists okay they, or somebody keeps falling in love with narcissists somebody had this is for a very selected low energy okay um somebody had black magic put on a uh like a curse or something put on a family at a point which is causing the women in the family to attract narcissists in their love life okay so somebody's needing to break family curses by changing their energy and stuff like that you know that's a message for somebody yeah stress somebody's very stressed out um we got don't watch me watch your ph balance so somebody could be um, arguing with somebody or yeah we got relationship abuse okay um, somebody is putting somebody down somebody could have told somebody in a relationship watch your ph balance instead of watching me and who i'm texting <laughs> that's bogus but also somebody could be arguing with somebody and just telling them like stop watching my social media and watch how that coochie smelling or that dick smelling okay we got baby boy so somebody just had a son recently okay somebody had a son recently so let's see spirit overall what messages do you have um, for the situation i just um described in this general message what overall advice do you have overall what advice do you have for the viewer what advice do you have for the viewer what advice do you have for the viewer spirit no that was no I'm not gonna do that show Yeah, somebody's trying to really smile to hide the pain. Like, I just seen somebody who's in a crowd talking to somebody and they just don't want to smile. They also broke down crying when somebody asked them about you. I'm he like, I'm hearing somebody like, hey, you heard from so-and-so? And they just, like, damn near cried, but they had to remember I'm tough. Okay, somebody trying to keep themselves tough in a connection or a broken connection, okay? Somebody don't want to face the fact that something has ended for real this time. Like, this the real time. This time, this ain't no uh, levels to this shit. You know, there's levels to an official breakup. There are stages and trials and tribulations. But I feel like this jail sentence, okay? Because some of you guys dating this person was like serving a jail sentence, okay? That's the equivalent. That's how toxic this person was, okay? Being with you is like being in jail, nigga. Like, I just, you know, somebody got exhausted. Okay, we got emotions are running high in reverse. And then we got don't let your pride and get in the way, okay? You guys are done. And look, we got Leo energy. Somebody's person could be a Leo or you're a Leo. But somebody is no longer letting their pride get in the way of this situation, okay? And so, so I feel like... Your person ain't no longer letting their pride get in the way or they feel like they're not going to keep letting their pride keep them from the person they love, okay? Or what they call love. They're not going to keep doing that. And I feel like your, your feelings are no longer running high in the situation. So you're able to have a clear conversation without 
operating off your emotions with this person, okay? So spirit, this feminine energy or masculine energy that's watching this video could say something to their person that they're watching this video about. What would be something they could say wrapping this message up? What would be something that my feminines or masculines that are watching my video what would be something they could say? Okay, what would you what would my viewers say? If they could get something out. What's the viewers hidden truth regarding this situation? What's the viewers hidden truth? We got I'm starting to understand our connection and I'm afraid to contact you. So some of you guys that are watching this video, y'all still want to talk to y'all person or y'all still feel like y'all need closure in this situation or y'all just want to tell them like, look, we supposed to be together for some, not all, but we were supposed to be together and you're ruining it. Like some of you guys really want to talk to your person, but you know that'll be a fucked up thing to do. You know that'll put you back some levels in your healing process. And some of you guys are afraid to talk to your person because you don't know if they'll answer. Some of you guys were ghosted and you just need that closure. But Spirit is like, look, even if you feel like your emotions ain't running high anymore and you could have a conversation with them, just let it be what it is. Let this person come to you. Some of you guys always mess it up for yourself when this person, like y'all mess up y'all person's growth. Like right when the person grows, once this person gets to get ready to come and 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 submit to you and be like I was wrong, y'all always end up letting their emotions that you're picking up on. Like if they broken hearted right now and y'all can feel that shit, y'all let that shit get y'all excited or make let y'all get that sh get y'all in a place where y'all forget about y'all growth and y'all go trying to check up on them because y'all are empath and, and y'all don't want somebody y'all love hurt so y'all go to this person thinking on some let me you know let me see if they okay or let me you know check on them and then they they be really enjoying the fact that you did that and they really admire that but then they turn a um toxic energy i'm like oh she came to me first so guess that means i don't have to change them because she came first okay y'all need to let this person come to y'all for a change y'all always fuck it up when this person getting ready to come to y'all okay let them come to you what they would like to tell you is we need to let each other go so for some of you guys this is why you don't need to contact this person because they're still in that fucked up energy and they want to hurt your feelings purposely Okay, because they're mad because things didn't play out or they planned didn't work out the way that they planned it out. And they mad. Somebody took a lot of time to think this thing through with how they was going to do you. Okay. And for some of them, they didn't even have a motive. They didn't even have a reason to do you like this. It's just, this is how they do everybody in relationships. Okay. And they are going to be stopped when their karma comes. When they have to be alone by themselves and just, you know, struggle and whatever their karma is. What else? One more card. I want to feel that way again. For some of these energies, they want to feel for you again. They want to be back in that place with you. Okay. For some of them, back in that toxic place where they can control you. And for some, very a small, selective few, they want to go back to when y'all first met, when they were in that representative energy. Okay. So y'all just stay away from this person. Keep elevating. Okay. Keep doing you. Keep doing the divine thing okay just focus on yourself right now spirit wants you guys to enjoy your blessings and give relationships a break for some of you some of you guys need to give relationships a break okay somebody needs to somebody don't never get the chance to heal they always jump from relationship to relationship and you just cover them scars up with more relationships that cut your scar deeper and then you just be fucked up okay somebody needs to let all their wounds from being played in relationships heal before they get back into something serious all right so that's you guys' message i know i said it was gonna be quick but you know spirit always got me talking so love and light to everybody please make sure you like this video share subscribe okay comment if it resonated and keep in mind that the readings are general once again do not stress yourself out about anything i said in this reading if you know it ain't playing out all right love and light to you guys thank you